Hey guys, Tangle here. I'm going to look at four rail mount type lasers. Uh, three of them are combination laser and white lights. Uh, probably the most popular one, one you may recognize first, is the TLR2. It's the third from the left. Um, and I'll go over what the others are in just a minute. This next picture just shows some uh, comparison dots of the lasers. Um, they're labeled so you can see what they are. This was done in a very brightly lit room. And I'm going to try to do the same type of picture outside in even brighter light so we'll have a little bit better comparison. Uh, I have the uh, Glock 19 here. Just check it. Make sure we don't have anything in there that shouldn't be. And because the Glock 19 is such a popular gun, I thought uh, I'd show you some comparisons on the Glock 19. Uh, let's look at each one of them real quick. This is the Laser Max Unimax. Uh, here's the laser. It, one of the nice features of this is you can put another light on those rails so you can clamp this to the gun and uh, another light onto this or another laser. You could have a red laser here and the uh, green Unimax here or vice versa. So if, if that would be useful at the uh, it's available for that. Uh, pretty compact unit, easy to use. You uh, push the switch in here, and I'm not going to point the laser to camera, but you can see a little laser light, and it goes either way. You can push the switch the other direction, and it comes on too. Very compact, as you can see in comparison. It goes on a Glock or any other gun with rails, you have to line up, of course, the cross slot with a screw. And to me, this is a, a little bit of a disadvantage. I'll show you that later on as we get into some of the others. Um, in this particular one, it has a spring under that screw head, which allows you to push that away. So you can push that away and clip it on, and you can see it clipped on. And then you tighten down this screw, and I, I won't tighten it all away for sake of time. Um, we're ready to go. Now, one of the things you'll want to notice here is I can just barely reach that with my trigger finger. I also have access to it over here if I want to press it down here. And that's the way it looks. You can see it extends beyond the uh, G19 a little bit. Probably not much of a problem, but I can assure you the closer it gets to that muzzle, the more smoke and muzzle blast and residue it's going to get on that laser. I've experienced that both with lasers and tactical lights as well. Alright, let's move on to the TLR2. This is a combination light and laser. Here's our laser. Uh, of course, the tactical light. It's uh, just a standard TLR2. Uh, it's not the strobe model that they have now. It works uh, a whole lot like the uh, Unimax in that it's got a spring under the clamp screw that lets you do that. So again, you can rock this thing on and it's pretty easy to get on. And of course, then you're going to have to tighten down the screw. You can see that we've got a lot of overhang here from the muzzle. Um, that's not necessarily a problem unless you're going to get a holster that accommodates the Glock 19 and this unit. Now we have a gun that we might as well have a longer barrel because this is going to be the concealment factor right here. Okay, let's talk about how this thing works. Uh, it's got a rocker switch. It's kind of like a seesaw arrangement. Uh, you've got the same thing on both sides here. And it can go down or it can go up. And on this side, if you press it down, it's momentary. If you press it up, it's uh, continuous. The other side is just the opposite. If you push it up, it's momentary. If you push it down, it locks on. So it's kind of a just a seesaw arrangement, and that's the way that part of it works. It also has a mode selection switch right here, and that's to select what combination of laser and tack lock you want. Uh, it's a three-way switch. So in this position right here, when I turn it on, I get both the laser and the light. I'm not sure you can see the laser inside the light, but it's there. If I put it to the center point and turn it on, you get just the tack light. And if I put it over to the right and turn it on, 
I get just the laser. So pretty neat. And again, I can do the momentary or continuous. One of the problems I see in lasers like combinations like this, and there's a number of them on the market, the laser is beneath the tactical light. Now, if we look at the bore up here compared to the laser down here, that's a lot of offset. That creates parallax in the aiming. Uh, it's a pretty good size unit. Uh, it almost seems defeative to put that big a unit on a compact gun. And you can pretty much reach the controls uh, with your trigger finger or uh, offhand thumb or finger, however you'd like to do that.